Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Astronomy Answered Simply. Today's question is, if black holes have infinite gravity, then why can't black holes attract every object in the universe, no matter how far away the object is? Second part of the question, if the gravity is infinite, then the gravitational pull would be infinite, right? So, to disabuse your question, um, black holes do not have infinite gravity. Uh, black holes are thought to be infinitely dense, but they cannot contain infinite mass because that would be the universe in and of itself. Um, black holes have finite amounts of gravity, or finite amounts of mass, and therefore a finite amount of gravity. Uh, they can absorb more mass as matter falls into a black hole and the black hole increases in mass. Uh, for example, Sagittarius A star, aka the black hole at the center of the Milky Way galaxy, has about 4.1 million solar masses, which is 4.1 million masses of our sun. So the black hole at the center of the Milky Way has 4,100,000 times the mass of our sun and exerts its gravitational influence throughout the entire galaxy and everything in the galaxy orbits the center of that black hole or orbits around that black hole. There are more complicated issues than this, but this is astronomy answered simply. Um, so no, black holes do not have infinite gravity, and that is why black holes do not attract or pull in everything forever, because they are just, they have gravity. Gravity is the same whether you have a hundred million masses or a million masses or the mass of our sun. Um, gravity only exerts its influence uh, based on the mass of the two objects that are interacting and the square of the distance between them, uh, the inverse square of the distance between them, meaning the farther you get, the faster it drops off in terms of gravitational influence. Um, the only, you're confusing a black hole with the formation or the the origination of the universe the singularity event that the universe is thought to originate from that was a point of infinite mass and infinite density prior to at least that's what we suspect based on all current mathematical models and all current astronomical and ast uh, astrophysics models we can mathematically create the universe back to about 0. 0.0000, 000 uh, there's a lot of zeros in there, three seconds bef after the Big Bang. Air quotes, Big Bang, but it really wasn't a bang, it was just a sudden expansion of the universe. Whether we are a white hole from another black hole in a universe, I, I don't know, that's beyond our knowledge and beyond our mathematics and physics right now. Um, but that point at the beginning of the universe was infinitely massive and infinitely dense. Black holes are not infinitely massive and infinitely dense. They have measurable mass, quantifiable, qualitative. Um, gravity exerts its influence and propagates at the same speed as light. So mass as it clumps together gets more and more dense and the, the effect of that mass propagates out away from it. So if our sun were to magically disappear, okay, some supreme being, whatever, Q, God, uh, mystical aliens that have the ability to steal a star right out of it and transport it across the universe without, you know, exerting any kind of influence. If our sun and all any were to disappear and no mass took its place, 
Mercury would be the first thing to just continue in a straight line after, uh, I think Mercury's orbit's like two and a half, three minutes from the sun, um, maybe three and a half minutes, but it would take a couple of minutes from when it disappeared, as soon as the light from that star vanished, Mercury would stop curving around the mass of that object and would just continue in a straight line forever or until it was picked up by another star. It would become a rogue planet, as would all of the planets in our solar system. First one being Mercury, then Venus, then Earth, then Mars, then the asteroids would get flung out, and everything would go away. That's how gravity works. Gravity is a very, very, very misunderstood concept. Um, it's probably the question uh, on Quora that I answer the most is questions of... Uh, is helping explain misunderstandings about gravity. Everything that has mass uh, has gravity. Any object with mass, this little soda can, this computer mouse, me, the headset, every object that has, the air molecules have gravity, but they're so tiny and have so little mass that they don't exert much influence we are dominated by the 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 predominant mass influence to us as humans is the earth beneath our feet it it is the dominant mass in in our lives however we are on a planet that is in orbit around the sun uh let me just take this bottle and make it the sun what happens is mass or, or matter curves, density of mass curves space time. So the reason we orbit is we were all moving along, but as this stuff compressed, the, the motion you know, curved around the object. We are actually traveling in a straight line in our orbit However, the curvature of space-time around the sun pulls us around the object. Um, and it's very much like, where's my little prop that I had earlier? It was a baby toy. Uh, I probably wandered off with the baby. Yep, oh well. Um, but it, uh, if you think of someone doing a hammer throw with a ball and chain, that's kind of like how gravity influences. If you cut that chain or if you put a, a ball or a stick on, a, on the end of a rope and you fling it around and you cut that rope, that ball is going to fly off in a straight direction. That's kind of how gravity influences itself. So nothing is actually pulling the objects that are in orbit travel in a straight line, but they're curved around the mass of the sun or planet or star or black hole or neutron star um it, it's it's the mass that actually curves space time and uh, i think i'll do another video on that at some point when i see a question to help really go into it and i'll put some additional links about it in the quora answer and on on the youtube page uh thank you and like subscribe ask me questions let me know if you want a classroom visit have a great day.